Hi guys, this is Wildstar Guides here. I'm here today to show you a quick little guide on um, farming um, iron ore in uh, for the Dominion. Um, sorry if my voice sounds a bit weird. I've just got a sore throat and a cold coming on. Um, in this zone, uh, you want to go for the first zone where you actually spawn in um, Wildstar for the Dominion side. That is, and as you can see at the minute, I have zero um, iron ore, and I have zero in my bag. So I'm going to do an hour session of uh, farming iron ore here. And I, ha and I recommend you go all the way around, like so, the whole time map, take all the corners, and I'm going to do about five laps of the whole time map, and then I'm going to show you how much I have, and then I'm going to calculate how long that took to do. Um, so I'm just going to quickly pause the video. Actually, no, I'm going to do a couple, a quick little route, and uh, see how much I can pick up in the first couple of minutes. As you can see already, there was two there, but I'm just going to leave that for when I come back around. Um, I've done this route a couple of times for people who... Um, or one in iron ore for their profession skills and stuff like that and I found out you average really pick up about nearly nearly 150 to 200 every time you go around five times and obviously if you're level 50 like I am at the minute you can just bypass all these mobs really easy and also if you pick up um, hunt, uh, hunter relic you can pick all these items up and all the plants where you go past because that's probably the best best idea for you to do but I'm just focusing purely on getting the ore um, so that's the first chunk already here. Yeah. Um, I've got the second highest uh, mining node, so I mine them pretty fast. Uh, I can get the next one. What costs? I forgot how much. It costs uh, I think around 50 elder gems or something like that. And at the minute I've got 40. And I'm uh, thinking about buying a new one. I'm not sure yet. Uh, you can get a couple of add-ons that will point you straight to them. For some reason. Uh, I do have one, but it's not working at the minute because it's just been the strange drop, so pretty much most of the add-ons are out of date. But, I don't know why I keep on clicking my P instead of V. Um, so yeah, yeah, if you have that add-on, uh, it, it points you towards nodes, as you can see it's doing now, but there's normally a list here. And it's only pointing me to the ones I don't want it to point me to, because you can set it to point only to um, mining nodes or relic nodes or um, plants or anything like that. Uh, as you can see, already in a couple of minutes, I don't know how long this has been. Uh, I've already picked up uh, how many? Six, and then this is my next node. Uh, so, eight now. Oh, I keep on clicking B. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm just going to pause the, the video now, guys, and now I'll be back after five full laps. You see, I've only gone this far, and I've already collected six, so hopefully when I go around, around to this area, I'll say this is the most for farming. Uh, anyway, I'll pause the video now, guys, and I'll be back in a bit. Hi, okay, guys. Yeah. Alright, I'm back. I didn't do uh, five routes of this map. I only did one because I thought I got uh, a quite a good number for just saying one more. As you can see already, this <laughs> before I click start, uh, three more nodes spawn near me. Um, this has only been one route, and it's been pretty much nearly exactly 20 minutes. So, and I c farmed 102 iron chunks, 27 titanium chunks, and... Uh, Eight, eight, 16 quarts so for uh, 20 minutes that's pretty good so if you do an hour route you'll get about average about 200 uh, 300 iron and possibly um, I would say 60 to 70 titanium what to say is quite alright for an hour farm I think that should hopefully get you up to your tier 2 mining and uh, if I'm right you should Probably, wait, if I just calculate this, uh, where's my calculator? If you, uh, so if it if it sells at the minute for one silver, um, and you have, well, yeah, that should you should probably get about thirty gold ish, probably for all that I, um, I you made. So obviously this is a level, um, I forgot what zone level this is, uh, whatever zone this level is, I think it's ten or something like, not ten, uh, I think it's seven. So seven to about fifteen. Whenever you move on to Ilum, if you have that, uh, if you have that amount of platinum, and uh, not platinum, titanium and uh, iron, I don't know what my mind's doing today. It's gone all over the place. Um, you should be able to sell it straight to a vendor, or you could possibly try and put it on the auction house, what in the Ilum's located here, um, and then you should be able to get your mount straight away. Well, I know a lot of people have been saying it's hard to do. Um, but yeah, so it's just a simple route, you just go all the way around. 
um, my next video will be in this exact same zone again but doing relic hunting what I noticed around this area is really really high and because there's a lot of Elden things around here you can see there's one there and uh, they're normally farmed uh, located loads and there's one there uh, where's another one there's one here I think and then obviously the sky around as well but it's a really good place for relic hunting and I've noticed as well but uh, for iron it's not that bad uh, I know the next zone uh, is better for getting titanium and iron at the same time but yeah anyway thanks for watching guys this has been uh, wildstar guides uh, stay tuned for my next video what will be on relic hunting on uh, in the same zone uh, I will be hopefully doing some exile videos soon because I'm just uh, trying to level up exile blade 50 obviously I got my dominion guy up but yeah anyway thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later